Morning, you guys. Morning, morning, morning. How is everybody doing? This is Past Morin, and you guys already know I am way on vacation by now, but that's okay because guess what? I'm still here thanks to the moderns of technology, and we can talk about one of my favorite books that I read in the month of June, which was Beth O'Leary's The Flat Share. Now, I waited a really long time for this book to drop, and I was so happy when it finally did because I had heard it was like a really excellent rom-com, and so that was kind of where my expectation was, was a really good rom-com, and it blew my expectations, expectations out of the water. It was not just a really good rom-com. It like was heart-wrenching. It had levels. So what this book is about is you have your main female character, Tiffy, and she essentially lives in London. There's a bit of a housing crisis, much like Manhattan, um, and she has to leave her ex-boyfriend's apartment. He is abusive and controlling and just awful, awful, and she has to leave his apartment. And she does not have a lot of money because she loves her job as a, she writes articles for a magazine, I believe, um, and edits books on crocheting and like DIY stuff. But she's passionate about this job. So she doesn't want to leave it for a better paying job. So she finds a really unique situation with Leon Twomey. I think he said the last name Twomey. Um, he is a night nurse at a, um, like a hospice type situation and he works all night long and he needs a little extra money because here's where the heart wrenching stuff kind of starts to come in. His brother Richie is in prison, wrongfully accused of a crime and he needs to pay the lawyer and, um, so he needs extra money besides his already good job that he uses to pay for the rent and things like that. So he offers up, he works all night long. So from like 9 p.m., I think it is, or 6 p.m. until 6 a.m., I think it is, something like that. 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. he works. So he says, you can have the apartment from like, six, I think it's 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. for some reason. He works really long shifts. Um, and you can have the apartment from those times and you can sleep in the bed and you can cook your dinner and whatever, but at 8am you have to be gone because I'm going to come home at eight and I'm going to have the apartment from like 8am to 6pm so that I can sleep, make myself a meal and then go on to work. And then on the weekends, I'll just go off to my girlfriend's house. Um, and it'll be fine. Well, eventually Leon and his girlfriend do break up. So he starts going to his mom's on the weekends, but it is a situation that's extremely unique and kind of weird and uncomfortable at first for both of the parties, but works financially really well for both of their needs. Tiffany needs somewhere that is economical to stay because she loves her job editing and publishing DIY crochet books, but knows that that doesn't pay the bills. And Leon needs just a little bit of extra money to pay for the lawyer for his brother to try to get his brother out of prison. And so it is a really good situation for them. And they start talking to each other through post-it notes and little notes that they leave around the apartment. And I, I just, uh, it was so good, the notes that they left each other and the way you could slowly see them start to care more and more and more about the other person was just, oh, so good. I really, really enjoyed a lot of aspects of this book. Um, it made me cry, and not a lot of rom-coms make me cry, but this one made me cry. Um, at multiple points, you feel for both characters. They're both super quirky, 
but you still really, really feel for them as people. I related to both characters. And yeah, I just really highly recommend The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. Um, I do see that it is becoming like a TV show, I believe, maybe only in the UK, but possibly in the US as well. Should have did a little bit more research on that. But I was here before the show, guys. I was here telling you about the flat share before the show. I, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I'm super, super excited. I love it when I catch something before it. it's a show. Uh, Red, White, and Royal Blue. There you go. I reviewed that book. Last year, I believe, some either last summer or fall, I reviewed that book, and I really, really loved it, and um, now it's going to be an Amazon Prime show. Uh, I will watch the Amazon Prime show, because I loved that book, um, And but then I did read another one by the author, and it just wasn't as good, so one of those things where I enjoyed Red, White, and Royal Blue, and it may have been a one-off for that author. Um Daisy Jones and the Six. I read that book before it was a show. Have not watched the show yet because the, the book wasn't tremendous to me. Um, but it might, I did say when I reviewed the book that it would probably make a better show than a book because of all the song lyrics and the music in it. I was like, this doesn't really read well for me. But I bet it would make a good show. So maybe I will give the show a chance. Just because I think that that particular medium was made for being a television show or a movie. I don't think for me, Daisy Jones and the Six as a book didn't come across super, super well. It just laid a little flat to me. But you guys know that. Um, what else do we got coming up? Um... Just some book reviews. Your um, end of the month review for July will probably be a little bit late. It'll probably be sometime in the first week of August um, for reasons, travel reasons, as well as getting back into the groove of things. But yeah, it'll be coming. It'll probably be a light reading month for me, July. I would say 10 books max is probably what I'm shooting for. Currently, I am reading Strange the Dreamer. And it's really good, but it is very poetic and very artsy and um, very whimsically written. And I can't really read those quickly because I want to fully appreciate the whimsy and the poeticness of the um, writing. So yeah, Strange the Dreamer will easily probably take me, I could say almost four or five days to read just because I'm trying to fully appreciate it. So yeah. Um, really, really enjoying it though. So you'll get a review on Strange the Dreamer. I'm only like 10 or 15% in, but when I finish it, you will get a review on what I thought of it as a whole. It came highly recommended by somebody on TikTok. So we are giving it a shot. Um, I love you guys so, so much. I appreciate you watching the reviews. I appreciate you guys liking, subscribing, supporting me all the time. I truly, truly, truly do appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week. Bye now.